Hi, it's Tom over at Porsche Stratum. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video here on the Tesla Model 3. Uh, this is the 2020 model. And over here, not a whole lot going on in Teslas. Uh, don't have a dashboard up here, no gauge clusters, anything like that. Uh, you just get these two uh, buttons and dials right here that do uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, up here, this is how you shift in gear. It's kind of like an old column shifter. Uh, turn signals and wipers are over there. And uh, down here is power windows. And this little button here is actually how you open the door. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to get out if you don't press that. Um, up here, you get this full glass roof. Really cool. Goes all the way to the back, all the way to the trunk. Um, wood dash, which is actually looks pretty good on this car. Uh, but the main thing about Tesla's is this big screen. Uh, so it does all sorts of fun stuff. You can go into the car settings, navigation settings, autopilot. I don't believe this has the full autopilot where you'll plug in an address and it'll drive you somewhere. I think it just kind of automatically uh, brakes and uh, does all that kind of stuff. Speeds up, keeps you in lane. It's still pretty cool. You don't have to touch the steering wheel while you're driving, but it's more of a cruise control function than an actual autopilot. But I could be wrong about that. This one might have it. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the Teslas. And then again, more driving modes. You have locks, lights, quick controls, uh, which does like mirrors, uh, steering wheel controls, things like that. Uh, a lot of settings that you can play around with, obviously navigation. Uh, over here, this is actually how you would open up the frunk, uh, which is the front trunk because it doesn't have an engine, so you have extra storage there, and then that's how you open up the rear trunk, which is called the trunk. And then back here is how you open up uh, the charging port, which is actually hidden behind uh, the driver's side tail light, which that flips up and then you can plug the car in, and then that's just how you lock the car all together. Uh, you have cameras on here. This even has a dash cam, which is really cool. Um, so you can take like screenshots and things like that. Um, but really cool. You can see our Nissan GTR right there. And then let's see. Those are for your wipers. This is all music down here. If it wants to load, you can change it to whatever is going on in Chicago. We'll go to 92.9. That's a pretty good station. And then you have your calendar. We don't have anything connected to this, so we won't have a calendar. This is energy consumption, all sorts of cool charts and data, things like that. You can do a trip if you want. Um, heated seats, which is actually a really cool feature on this. Uh, climate controls, and then heated windshield, heated rear um, window back there, and then you can, this is how you do the volume. Not a huge fan of that song, personally. Um, and then charging. Web. This lets you uh, go online, do things like that. Entertainment, so you have Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, and Tesla tutorials. Um, so if you get bored while you're driving, you can always sit down and watch some Netflix or maybe some Hulu. And then over here, you got actually a bunch of games that are built into the actual car that you use the steering wheel, you use uh, gas and brake pedal, uh, or you just use a touch screen like fall, you got follow shelter, solitaire, um, whatever cat quest is, um, beach buggy racing too, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's kind of like Mario Kart. Asteroids, a classic. Centipede, another classic. Um, yeah, Missile Command, all sorts of fun stuff to keep you busy. And then Toy Box is a really, really cool feature. Um, so you may have seen the pictures or videos of people writing messages on the screen and then leaving it on there while they're away from their car, like if they're pets in the car, things like that. Um, so you can do that so you can draw things on sketchpad we can go sketch now and scribble and draw things 
Not gonna leave that there. But we go back to Toy Box. Uh, you have like a romantic fire mode, tracks, which you can make like beats and things like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, boom Box, which um, replaces certain sounds on the outside of the car, Mars, so it looks like you're driving on Mars. This is a pretty interesting one. It plays um, Christmas music at pretty much full volume, and it starts ringing bells and everything that you can hear pretty clearly when you're outside the car driving down the street. Um, Rainbow Road, it just kind of shows you driving along a Rainbow Road. And then, of course, the one that everybody always asks about is emissions. So you can do fart on demand. You can also do fart on turn signal, and then you can move where the fart's coming from. If you want to make it seem like a certain someone is farting, you can move it up there. And then we can go here and do it like that. So, a lot of interesting stuff. It's Tesla, so a lot of cool technology going on. Uh, like I said, most of everything that's going on with the Tesla is going on on this screen. Um, but there are some other stuff. You get this cool rear view mirror. Like I said, panor uh, not panoramic, but full glass roof. And then back seat, you actually have a lot of leg room for how small of a car this is. I was very surprised by that. Uh, seats are pretty comfortable. You have power seats, of course. Um, everything's going to be powered in here. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like to come down for a test drive. Uh, my number is 603-775-4082.